Hi guys, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded any videos. I've decided to do a Java tutorial series and I'm trying to take a break from my Visual Basics tutorial series. And I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of the Eclipse IDE. And I'm not going to go through how to download the Java development kit um, for a couple of reasons. One, there's like a ton of tutorials on YouTube about how to do this. I'm sure you can find a link. Um, you're also saying there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube about Java. Well, I went through about all these tutorials and I just don't like how they're um, structured. So I'm going to try to structure this differently. If I don't do a good job at that, I'm going to actually listen to the feedback of my users and change it how um, you guys tell me to. So you already have the Java development kit if you're finishing watching this video. If not, you need to go find um, a video of detail of detailing instructions of this. Um, we're going to learn how to create a new project. That's what I've already did. If you go over here, um, you can right click anywhere in this box and go to new Java project or you can go to file new Java project. Um, doesn't really matter. And you just name it. I already named mine learning. Don't worry about any of this stuff down here. Um, then when you hit finish it will create this new folder over here and this is pretty much where all the magic begins um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new class file um, this is just kinda like a blueprint um, for objects and I'll get into that later but just now think of it as a if you were building a house this is pretty much you need a blueprint to build that house so we're gonna create a new class and I know it's bad practice to use the default package but I'm not going to really confuse you guys and get into packages just yet so we're going to name this hello people I want to change it up everybody does hello world my eclipse is running very slow this is the very first time I've ever run it on this computer I just got it taking quite a while. You'll notice that I may go through um, this a little bit fast and I, I may type something out and don't get frustrated because I will explain what I typed out always and if I don't you can leave a comment and help me out. Um, what it does is it automatically generates code for us and don't worry about uh, this part. All this does is it generates the name of the um, class based on what you named the file. Now we need these curly brackets right here to pretty much enclose the class. Um, you don't really um, need to know anything about this right now. We'll get, we'll get into it. You'll understand it eventually. Um, what I just want to do now is type out our main method. and what I've did and don't worry about what a method is right now um, all I've did is create the pretty much this code right here is ran when the code starts so um, you always have to have a main method in your programs as far as I know um, it, you, you don't have to have it for some things uh, we won't get into that though anything you put in this this code for your main method um, will automatically be ran whenever you start your program. What I've did right here is create a message that is sent out on an output stream to the console. And don't worry about what an out output stream is right now. Um, all I've did is pretty much print out a message, hello peeps. This code right here will be ran whenever this program is executed. So what we're going to do is save this and run it using this button up here. And we want to do a Java application. 
as you can see the code has been ran um, that's pretty much all for this tutorial I didn't want to get into um, this into detail I just wanted to kind of get you guys started with this in the next tutorial I'm not exactly sure what I'll be discussing but um, stick around and stay tuned